boys and girls. I've just finished washing my hands. Um, that's one of the really important things that we're doing these days, isn't it? I made sure to sing our school song while I was um, washing them so that I knew that I was washing them for at least 20 seconds. So um, one of the reasons that I was washing my hands is because I thought we could have some fun today and make a little recipe together or at least get an idea of a recipe that you could make at home. Uh, Mr. Lujan mentioned on the announcements the other day that I really like to cook and he is right. I love to cook. So I've been thinking about things that kids could make that would be uh, healthy and safe to prepare and delicious, that's important. And um, so I looked around the house to see what I could find, and I found some things that are from a recipe that my mom used to make with me when I was when I was little. So I thought that would be kind of fun. The first ingredient we have is some celery sticks. Okay, and this part, cutting the celery, this part needs to be um, for sure either done by an adult or with an adult right there with you to make sure you know the proper way to, um, to cut that celery stick, okay? And so we've got several celery sticks here. And then we've got some peanut butter and some blueberries, and we've got some pimento cheese. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take, my, my son loves peanut butter. Do you like peanut butter? Yeah, me too, me too. A lot of kids I know like peanut butter. So we're gonna take some of this peanut butter and we're going to spread it onto the celery stick like this. And we're gonna do just a few of them with the peanut butter. They're, they kinda of, they kind of lean over and that's okay, that happens. You can put as much peanut butter on as you want or as little, I'd say maybe about a tablespoon or half, I don't know, maybe a couple of teaspoons on each one is just about perfect. Ooh, that technique worked better to kind of scrape it on the side. See how I did that? That worked a little bit better. Okay, now we're getting ready for a fun part here in a second. We are making these little guys to hold another one of my son's very favorite things in the world, and that is blueberries. When I was little, my mom would make these with raisins um, for this part, but I didn't have any raisins, and I did have blueberries. So we're gonna put a little blueberry on each, on each one, a few, I'm putting three on each, but you could, you could put, see how I did that? You could put as many as you wanted. Maybe this one will, We'll do more. Maybe this one will do five. Okay, so what my mom used to call this recipe when I was little is she would call it ants on a log. Because it look, it looks looks like a little log that would be floating down the down the creek. And those are the little ants on the log. These, since they're blueberries, they're really big ants. Um, okay, so the other kind other person that I cook for a lot is my husband. And he, Mr. McClarty, loves pimento cheese. And so I'm gonna make some for him, especially for him, that have pimento cheese on them. Because he is a big fan. And this way, I can get them both to eat vegetables like celery that are really good for them and healthy. And I can use up the things that I have in my refrigerator, the healthy foods that I have in my refrigerator. Is your mom, are your mom and dad and the adults at your house, are, are they trying to do that too? Yeah, it's smart, it's important. Okay, I, I, lo I love this little guy because look, he still has his, he still has his little top on his, on his stock. Okay, so I hope that you enjoy making some things in your kitchen with your mom and dad or brothers and sisters. And if you are making things at home um, for snack or eating, would you please send me a picture or a little video of yourself um, helping out in the kitchen? There are so many important things that kids can do to help out in the kitchen. And um, cooking meals like little um, snacks like this 
or cl helping clean after mealtime, those are really important ways that you can help your family right now and learn at the same time. Okay, I miss you guys. I love you. I'll see you soon.